sponsor, Blokey Hey Gully. Today, I'm going to be doing my first spring trim for the year, so that's pretty cool. This tree here shot out pretty early. You can see it's already some shoots nearly a foot long. Yet I've got other trees outside that barely shot, or the buds. Some some of the buds aren't even just swelling, so. So it's pretty cool to have, you know, such a variation. Um, you can see the tips look a bit um, crappy. That's because we had a frost. We had a minus three, minus three degrees Celsius, which you know burnt off um, some of the tips. But that's okay because we're going to be cutting them off today anyway. So in this video, I'm just going to be giving it a bit of a trim, not really a style, just a trim. And just selected it back to two shoots from each location, not three. Um, what else? Uh, I'll show you a photo, you know how I was doing that uh, box thorn bush. And I've got the bloody uh, thorn in the thumb. Well, I finally squeezed that out. Actually, you could probably even see now, still a bit of a mark there. I had a bit of a tough time with it, it's been pretty sore. Okay, you can still see a mark there where it was. Anyway, I, I squeezed it out. And I'll show you a photo, a photo of that. The old thorn coming out. I've hung the Aussie Bonsai bloke sign. Um, oh. Also, we had a rally go past our house on the weekend, so, you know, we live out fairly remote, a lot of dirt roads, and the rally went past, so I'll just show you a couple of clips of the old rally. first mow more dirt than lawn I'll show you that too so at the end of all this I'll show you all that stuff so we'll show you the lawn now Video. The video that I'm recording now, I've actually turned it back a bit because previously what I would do is I would, would record on 4K, then do the editing on the computer, and then export it as a video file onto 1080 or 1440. And what I found is, you know, like it's a big file, so it makes it hard for the poor old computer takes you know the buffering and the editing is not too good and it's just a lot of hard work so I thought for this one I would actually turn the quality back so instead of ultra high definition or 4k I think it's quality high def now which I think it's about 1440 maybe 2k it could be 2k anyway so I'm going to record it at less quality, but then hopefully after I edit it and then export it as 1080, you won't notice the difference. So let me know in the comments, let me know whether it's any worse. I can quite easily go back to how it was. It's just that on this lower setting, one, it makes it easier for me to edit, and two, um, well, the computer has an easier time with it. And three, there's no time limit on the video, so I can sit here talking for an hour without having to restart videos on my phone. So, anyway, let me know what you think. The quality is still going to be at 1080 when it's uploaded to YouTube. I just want to know whether there's any difference whether you go a high quality and then take it back, or whether you start with the, you know, the 1080 or the YouTube quality 
right from the beginning where there's actually a difference. But anyway, let me know. Uh, anyway, so back to this tree. See, now I'd have to be going and checking the length of time I've been talking for and maybe restart it. So this will allow me to have less video files. So, I'll give you a spin. Got Adrian's sign up there. Adrian's turntable here. I've shown you some details in the past. A couple of videos I've done. Anyway, I'll give this tree a bit of a spin. This is the Devil's Plum, if you haven't already noticed. What we call the Devil's Plum. Last year I gave it about three trims and then um, I got uh, sidetracked or moved into the new property and I didn't really trim it too much after that. But then I cut it back hard in winter, which I didn't make a video of, but now it's regrown again. So I'll just give you a quick spin. You can see how good this turntable works from Adrian. Okay, so that's the spin. Now what we're going to be doing is selecting the shoots that we want to keep. And yeah, just basically. Okay, so this is going to be too low. If there wasn't a branch on the left over here, I would keep one of these and do another branch. But in this case, you got the left branch there, so if you do one here, you're competing with that branch. And I don't think it's necessary to keep it, so we're going to get rid of all these shoots down here. Pretty cool how quick and fast this thing's grown. Just amazing. Really healthy, but like I said, it got bitten by the frost. I have to actually say that... Um, a few of my other trees got bitten. The pomegranates got all burnt back completely. All the shoots completely gone. Um, poor old bottle brush that had, but for us to get a frost this late is pretty rare, but it's been a really dry winter. And generally if you have a dry winter, it means clear, cold nights and you get more frost. So anyway, yeah, the, Bottle brushes, they also got burnt pretty bad and all the flowers that they had on, the flower buds that they had on, have now burnt off. Um, so it's going to be a pretty miserable year for that one again, which is pretty sad because it's had, um, you know, I had a hard summer, got burnt a bit and all sorts of stuff, I let it dry out too much between the water and now it's, you know, lost its flowers, so anyway, that's bonsai for you okay, so we've got a branch going into the centre here I'll cut that one off and basically I'm just going to shorten everything back to one to two nodes, depending on the intermode length And that will be it for the whole tree. I'll just go around the whole tree doing that. Just snipping it back. Making sure there's only two branches from any location. Down the bottom, I'll be choosing thicker branches up the top. I'll be opting for some thinner ones. And I'm just going to go through this whole tree, selecting that. And you know, it won't take too long, but. <laughs> Thank God for that, air compressor stopped.
Um, hasn't bloody gone all afternoon, or the whole time I've been home, and decides to go right now. Ah, well. Um, so yeah, I'm keeping the fatter ones at the bottom, thinner ones at the top, uh, cutting them back pretty hard. So there's only one or two nodes. Uh, I'm just trying to increase the ramification in here. And I'm going to do pretty much the same up the whole tree. So what I was saying is I'll probably go into hyperlapse with this because it's going to take a fair while, although it's not going to be a huge amount of time. It still will be a, a little bit of time, you know, to go through and do this. So I'll go into hyperlapse and you can watch it all, watch it all happen. So, yeah, two shoots, thinner ones at the top, keep the fatter ones at the bottom, cut it back to one or two internode lengths, and just do that through the whole tree. Possibly the apex up here, if I decide I want to keep a leader, I might do a leader. Uh, I might leave the leader so it can fatten up. But anyway, I'll go into hyperlapse, cheers. Well, um, I think I would have shown you the rally, the thorn in my finger that I got out, which was bloody beauty getting that out, um, mowing the lawn, or the dirt, that's called a low dirt mow, um, the sign, all this sort of stuff that's been going on, it's been a been a good week since I've done video, a week and a half, two weeks. Um, anyway, so probably took me, oh, I'm going to guess, about 10 to 15 minutes to trim this. And pretty much that's it. So I'll go back on the bonsai stand out there and grow again in the sun. Until next time that it gets a bit long and leggy. And then I'll do exactly the same thing again. I'm not even really pruning for direction too much. I'm just, um, just basically shortening everything. Not even trying to do a silhouette. I figure if I shorten everything as an individual pad, if one wants to grow out a bit further than another one, it probably creates a bit more interest anyway, rather than just having a big ball. So anyway, so that's that. I'll give you a bit of a spin of the tree on the way out. Uh, let me know how the quality goes. And apart from that, cheers for watching Aussie Bonsai Blood. Please like, share, subscribe. Tell your mates. Get them on the old videos. And I'll catch you next time.